Okay, before we get started, I just want to mention that I am putting out my preset pack this Christmas so that you can buy it. It's going to be discounted until the end of the year, 50% off. So get in it now before it goes back up to full price in the new year. This is the only time that it is going to be this price. So get in quick while you can. Anyway, on to the actual video. So the point of this video... <laughs> I don't know why I went off screen. The point of this video is uh, to show how I edit my photos. Everyone edits their photos differently. Everyone knows this. It's art. 50% of the photo is in camera. 50% is in the editing. So this is how I edit my photos. It might not be the same for you. You might edit your photos differently. That's fine. But this is how I do it. And this is how I'm going to show you how I've learned how to do it from figuring it out on my own, basically, over the past six years. So this is how I edit my photos. Let's jump over to the computer now, let's uh, let's get into Lightroom. Okay, so this is the photo that we're going to be editing. Uh, this is a photo that I took in New York uh, at the end of last year. This is the raw photo directly out of camera. I usually leave my white balance as it is, unless I want a very specific feeling, but I'll usually come back to that. So the first thing that I do in every single one of my photos is I just dump my highlights every single time. And then I usually bring up the shadows a little bit, bring up those whites. A little bit so we're dumping the highlights to get that detail and bringing up the whites a little bit to, to make it pop a little bit more and then because I've brought up those shadows I still want to keep a little bit of that clarity and bring those blacks in just a little bit again so that's the change that we've made just using the basic adjustment panel then I usually don't touch anything in the clarity vibrance or saturation section until well 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 later in the edit and then I come down here into my tone curve so most of the time I'll just do a really basic S curve so I'll bring down my shadows a little bit and bring up my highlights and then sometimes I like to bring this end of the highlights in slightly just to give it a little bit more clarity on that top end. And now this is where it gets interesting. So one thing that I really, really like to do in my photos is just put a little bit of orange in my shadows. So I head over to this blue section on the tone curve and I just bring that down ever so slightly and balance that out at the top end by bringing a little bit of blue into those highlights. It's a super subtle adjustment, but it really uh, really makes those oranges and those blues pop. I do want to play with my reds a little bit. So I can bring a little bit of that darker green into those shadows there. And I might do that just down the bottom here with another S curve. And I might go in here. Nice on the line there. And then I want to balance it out a little bit at the top end. That's a little bit too much for my liking. Right about there. So we brought a little bit of green into those shadows there um, just for for prettiness and then I usually don't really worry about this section too much because most of this is what I've done in in the in the tone curves up here but um, something that I will do is uh, in particular for this image I'm gonna take those purples and those magentas out um, because I've brought them in slightly up here so I'm just gonna cancel that out with this and um, I might just bring up that aqua a little bit and, uh, and bring that orange through just a little bit more. So I, I tend to use this section a lot more than the actual vibrance and saturation because I could just pump that vibrance, but I like to do it a lot more individually per color down here because that works a lot better for, for my style of photo. And then I like to, a lot of the time, just shift that blue ever so slightly towards aqua just to give it a little bit more of that uh, that film feel that that we that we all like so much and that's usually all that I touch I, I touch the luminance occasionally I might bring it up slightly for those oranges for the most part I can leave it where it is that's the before that's the after that's where we're at now and that's kind of it I, I tend not to do profile corrections just because I find that the original usually looks better because that's how I've shot the photo so that just makes my job easier and I very rarely will touch this calibration down here um, only because I do all of that adjustment in the tone curves and in the HSL section. And then on a photo like this, I'm a bit of a film nerd, so I do like to add just a little bit of grain in there um, just to give it a little bit of texture over the top. So this is the before, this is the after, and I'm going to save this as a preset in my preset pack, um, and we are going to name it Gargoyle. And that is now in the preset pack that you can download. And the link will be in the description for you to download that. And let's go back to 
the other camera angle. Now, so that's it. That's how I edit my photos in Lightroom. It's it's pretty simple. Most of the stuff that I do is, is not too much in the colors, more in the basic adjustment section and the tone curves. I hope you got something out of that. I hope that helped and, and it helped show you how I edit my photos personally. I would love if you could check out my preset pack over on my website. The link is the top link in the description. There is a free preset pack there of my last preset pack. And then this one is paid, but it is 50% off up until New Year's Day. So you have seven days, eight days, you have eight days to get it at 50% off before it goes up to full price. And with my preset pack, you get 11 presets ready for you to use. There's a couple of presets for night photography. There's a couple for portrait. There's a couple for day. There's heaps and heaps of range there. And, and I really hope that you get some use out of this preset pack. So go check it out at the link in the description. And otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic Christmas and I will see you right before the new year. Have a good one. See ya.